now live what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to more of e3 so the last e3 show we're gonna be checking out today the one i've personally been the most excited for which is the pc gaming show we had a great xbox and bethesda show today a okay-ish square enix show and now we're finally checking out pc i don't know what all is going to be shown off what all is going to be here but i hope there's some really cool stuff so welcome to the stream, everybody. It's good to have you here. Welcome, Lily Omatic. Welcome, Steve Go Home. Welcome, Simpai TV. Good to have you all here. Uh, yeah, this starts in one minute. I'm gonna turn IGN on. We can listen to them blather their little uh, mouths off for a minute or so, and then we'll actually get into the real, the real deal. So. Let's get started, guys. Uh, I, I thought it was really cool that there was like shout outs. They're showing off for artists and stuff. Horizon Horizon. As you're tearing through Forza Mexico, Horizon. I, think I can't that there's talk a lot today. to love in this game. And from the Xbox, brief that was that pretty cool. Of it, and I'm I'm stoked pretty to, to awesome. jump back into Forza. Yeah, I, I just want to also quickly add on about Forza is that I said you know this on the post Xbox show that that guy's I, I lips are really out of sync. If I ever if my lips ever get that out of sync, please tell me or shoot me or both. I've seen Horizon Five. I gotta go back to Horizon Four. I gotta give it. I gotta check that out. I'm gonna Horizon Four. I'm excited to oh. hop into Horizon Five on day one. Hmm. Uh, over mm. on Twitter, uh, why are you seeing my settings? Life chill. Oh, that's right. Says why that, is it uh, showing that Forza monitor? Horizon is the only game that they're gonna. Oh, miss that is that so weird. I am Xbox. sorry, guys. Oh, that is very you know? strange. <laughs> yeah, I, Forza I, Horizon. Forza Horizon's right around um, the corner. What a time to retire your Xbox. Give me a sec. Uh, that's not. Duper, that's not uh, correct at all. Not pre-ordering a Series X okay. when they were possible to track down. Mm. Uh, now, I apologize for that. For whatever all reason, long, all through E3, Comic Con, my and settings Gamescom, were totally screwed stuff, up. And there's lots of stuff happening. It in started off OBS with it on the wrong monitor. Know yet. And Don't know why. Down on the there Square you Phoenix go. Thank you for pointing that out. Only just I'm getting started, and there's still the PC well, gaming future that, games uh, showcase coming up. And there's still two more days of this stuff. You can find our summer of gaming coverage you know, the everywhere one that on IGN.com, on YouTube, on social market. media, and now even on your smart TVs. And of course, for additional content, it says right there, Zebra. Why are you guys still talking? Go. Booths, articles, I'm, I'm changing. All that sounds like way too much Everybody's trouble. like, "Time's up. Right Get off of here." And just don't do anything. Shut up. And tons more gaming already. coverage is coming your way. The PC Gaming Show is kicking off right now. Let's check it out. Oh no, is this like Devolver Digital where they try to do some cringy little skit? PC Gamer presents PC Gaming Show, powered by Intel MechWarrior 5 Sean! something. Sean! <laughs> do something! This? This is what we wait all day to see? Okay, that was slightly less cringy than uh, Rewind 2018. Bad, gang, and this year, we're in space! Aye, aye, Captain. Happy to be remotely on board, Sean. Well, I'm so glad you were able to finance this Excuse me a second, guys. show by, you know, selling <sighs> those black market graphics cards you've been hoarding. I'm back. <laughs> ah, yes, a crime with absolutely no real-world consequences. Hey, Frank, I'm working on a small new Doom project, which heads up. Awesome. Also, saw to explain to be showcasing the PC gaming show. Good. So that's cool. That's awesome. Sean, I always knew you had immaculate taste. It most certainly is. I can't oh, there's a Mech Warriors 5 promotion. PC gaming show to go off that game looked like it kind of started off would really slow until you got into it. It only recently came to consoles. Oh, 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 and I also want to warmly welcome someone new to the crew. Mika Burton, welcome. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be here and look forward to bringing all of you fresh new PC games and hardware. That's great. Zero hitches found presently or in 13,908,665 possible features. Uh, are you going to be streaming the Nintendo Direct? I don't think it's today. No, chicken word. I'm not streaming Nintendo Direct. So what's the plan, Cap? Well, Frankie, DevBot's going to send you the coordinates for your first target, uh, now. Your targets might be exclusive interviews, trailer premieres, or any number of amazing new computer games to beam down to the fine people on Earth. Mission received. Now this is going to continue until all the targets are acquired and our mission is completed smoothly and with. I'm just going to sit here, isn't that drink right, some water, pretend I don't want to die inside. You know the works. Not a single 
Sounds she's... like a children's show presenter. She really For does, boy. This this feels down to the stage this feels like a really bad thing happening. that the substitute would the put on for us when we were in kindergarten. On Earth. It looks like that. Oh, please, no. Oh. Uh, these people are do not worry. It's just like the Volver Digital. Oh, great to be back, right? Am what? I right? One of my favorite planets in the whole galaxy. Meh, it's all right. And thank Everybody God just go away. Was just go on. Let me suffer alone. This is Cranj. Yes, this is different. Right. Welcome. Nico well, Zeno says, it's hello. pretty rough. Hey, Nico. Optimix says, have I missed anything? Not a dang thing, Optimix. You've missed You've missed a lot of stuff that I wish I had missed. Let's put it that way. Just show us halfway three already. Upcoming PC titles with world premieres and exclusive interviews. And if dozens of new trailers wasn't enough for you guys, Okay, so let's let's show, do the people rating thing we always do. Two out of ten, three out of ten. Okay, so that's my rating. Want to stick around for that. Now, make sure I know, there are, are there actually do exist people that are promo code throughout the show uh, more Humble. annoying than which, this. You can get a ticket to get Civilization Six Platinum Edition for just ten bucks but right now Wait, what? we're gonna kick things off with not a Cup that's not bad probably the most original entry in the battle royale genre this year <clears throat> let's go original entry to battle royale Naraker blood something okay and this is a battle royale game <laughs> so this remember guys this one they're kicking their show off with so it better be amazing most popular playtest game on Steam. So it's like a it's like a sword combat battle royale game. That's kind of cool. It's like third person fighting versus in a battle royale thing. I could see um that's a little weird. I could see this being kind of cool. It's already halfway three. Prequels don't count, Denver Goat. Half-Life Alex is in a is in a third game. That's like saying that that's like saying that GTA Vice City is GTA 4. Okay. Nareka Blade Front or something. Okay, that was kinda cool. I guess. It wasn't a show starter, but it was cool. Oh you know, what is this? Oh, that's the same thing. Okay. Um, 20 bucks for standard, 50 for you ultimate. Eh. Oh yeah, GeForce Now, the cloud-based streaming. Tried that. It's okay. If you don't, if you don't have a PC that can run games, that'll work. Even the free version will work pretty good, right? The downside with it is you're, you're kind of seeing... You know how like games look in YouTube footage versus what they look like when you actually load them up on a proper computer? It's kind of like that, because you're streaming it, so you're going to be limited by your bitrate. Just be aware of that. It's like saying Saints Row get out of hell Saints Row 5. Exactly! There you go. Half-Life Alex was not Half-Life 3. It's released last year. I doubt there's going to be a Half-Life 3. No way you could look at Alex as Half-Life. Two episode three, but it's not officially called that. Okay. This feels like an off-brand Fairly Odd Parents game. I was kind of ignoring it for that very reason. Oh, this actually could be kind of cool. Maybe. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like some sports fighting game. With a kind of a platformer adventure style thing, too. I don't know. This could be interesting, I guess. I don't know. This just looks like an ad for a browser game on Nickelodeon. That's kind of one of the vibes I'm getting. Tour now to get your chainsaw for the samurai game. <laughs> there you go, Nico. Not anytime soon, ever, but the end of Half Life Alex and another Half Life game. Cool. Is this a Doom mod cast? I stink and hope not, Steve. Okay. Make cool. sure to check out Dodgeball Academia out soon for Dodgeball Humble Academia. Games. Ooh, yeah. that was sweet. Don't you agree, Devbot? Sure. Whatever you say, Sean. I agree with whatever you say. Oh, oh this is cringe. a little bit of resentment there, buddy. Is some rusted your ports? Nothing. I am happy to play second fiddle to a captain as charming and handsome as you. 
I have also definitely not dedicated multiple cores to computing revenge plans in a range of lethalities. Great! New target acquired, Cap. Uh, it looks like Chivalry 2 with a special... This is actually cringier than Devolver Dio, Digital. Then again, when I watched Devolver yes. Digital, I was a little more high, so it was a little more stomach Hey guys, ball. Steve Pickett, founder of Torn Banner Studios and creative director on Chivalry 2. Chivalry 2, five okay. Ago. I'm so happy to be here at right? the PC Gaming That's Show. That's pretty cool. Chivalry 2, if you don't know, is a first-person slasher, which is like a first-person shooter, except instead of guns and grenades, you've got swords, battle axes, longbows. It looks like the, it looks a lot like the first Chivalry. A little bit nicer, though. Fields. So that looks fun. Never played Chivalry. I always thought it looked like a fun game. In medieval Hollywood movies, and also I want a good AFL game like the NES one. Kind of chaos and AFL. So <laughs> American Football League? Like a I don't think that's going to happen to I don't think that exists anymore. So cringe, I'd rather watch the Emoji movie? No, I'd rather watch this. At least this is, at least this is, you know, has some little bits in it that matter. In the upcoming update where... You know, you're going to get a bit more refined medieval armors and refined uh, atmospheres that you can then go in and tarnish it and smear blood all over. But we really want to take players into different experiences and make each of our maps its own game mode and make it something that, you know, med medieval army would actually do when they go into a space. And, you know, when you come across That's an interesting idea. gardens and, and this beautiful castle, you get to tear it all down and, and cause, uh, you know, it's a canvas for your destruction. Wow. That's actually kind of cool. Conceptual wise, but probably will again will be just like an improved first one. Whoa! Oh, that's still Chivalry 2. Okay. I realized they were going to keep going with it. I thought that they were closing up and that was opening something else. I was like, wait, is this a pirate game? And I was like, no. Oh, well. I'd rather it's watch Kess than this cringe. We're gonna support it a lot. Thanks, Lily. Australian football league, okay. The first so FIFA. That's coming yeah, up post the sports equivalent to Doom Deathmatch. Oh, interesting. The high medieval times or the late medieval times. Really I will say this is pretty good looking. Of being this, like, noble, rich, wealthy place where Kess can be pretty cringy. Say, Very true. You're gonna feel like you're no, it's not soccer. Okay. London, if it was on the port where ships could dock into. You'll I was expecting so much chips. better of something calling itself the PC right, game show. Coming in at launch, but there'll be more and more added to it post launch. I mean, well. come on, this is what the I was hyped for. Style is really gonna so far, the Xbox game conference has been my favorite out of all of them. Gorilla Collective being a close second. Gorilla Collective did it right. I feel like. And so at Xbox, just game after game, no cringy skits. Very few long-winded developer commentaries. So this is, is it coming to Steam? So I come to the Epic Game Store? Because that would be kind of lame. Make sure to stick around I'd still get it, but, you know. A custom mech warrior PC from our friends Look up Aussie Intel. Rules Football. Interesting. Um, how many games have the name Football? Probably a ton. Uh, what the hell is this? Is this a cooking? Is this cooking? Is this like a cooking game? Actually, you know what this looks like? You know that guy who's in a dream and he's seeing a beer bottle and he has to commit suicide? Suicide Guy, I think is the name of it. It kind of looks like it's that, but he's Japanese. Okay, no, this is another, like, combat type game. Okay. Dang. Huh. So basically a guy just fights with food. Meh. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, this is a little different. Oh, so now it's platforming with food. There's a little cart racer. Okay, this seems to have enough variety enough to be interesting. Uh, that's kind of creepy looking, though. Okay. Where's Minecraft 2? Oh gosh. Why are they... Okay, Raw Ramen is the name of this. Huh. Okay. Ramen. Hi. Interesting. My name is Pil Shamanic. I'm Hi, Pil Shamanic. Dying Light 2, stay human. Dying Light 2! Here we go, baby! Something good, finally. Today, 
especially for the viewers of the PC gaming show, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Dying Light universe. So Good. Stay tuned. I'm here. Dying Light 2, stay human. That sounds Every cool. Tragedy. Oh, there's Splatoon cash in. I agree, this Nico. Started with a Fall Guys, what's food related? From <laughs> Haran, Maybe. The city we met in the first part of the game. And it reached the whole world, including the city where Dying Light 2 takes place. Remember January 6, well, 2025. That day, later known as Black Monday, the military ordered chemicals to be dropped on the city. It was a mistake, a huge mistake. The chemicals mixed with water penetrated the soil, killing plants, turning most people into bloodthirsty monsters. Don't think of them of as zombies, monster. though. Okay. They are more like half-alive, suffering people who attack everything yeah. that lives as a result of their pain and rage. Those who Yikes. survived the chemical raid took refuge on the rooftops. That is dark. A new order has been born in the city. People the game doesn't even look that dark. Monsters like premises. in the streets. Nobody in their right mind would dare to come down. Well, let's say almost nobody. I bet this guy gets all the chicks. The I'm just saying. Of Dying Light 2, Aiden. But like, I'm sure if I looked like that, I'd get all the chicks. Others. How did he develop such a unique parkour and combat skills? Believe me, guys, I would gladly answer all these questions, but I'm not here to spoil it for you. Let me tell you one thing. Same nightmare haunts me every night. I'm locked up with other kids. I don't know what he did to me, but he did it every day. Over and over. Dang. Looking for something he couldn't find. The worst part was that he did the same What's to my the sister. point? They're still updating Minecraft. You have Minecraft Dungeons and Telltale's game. Yep, that's true. Us. Government ad again. I, I was being sarcastic, Steve. They had rifles. You can make everyone just buy Minecraft again for sixty dollars. <laughs> Minecraft two, staring a man. Chaos. I got away. Soldiers took me out of the city, but my sister stayed there. My Mia. I left her. We meet Aiden as one of the Dang. many many children undergoing mysterious medical research. Sorry, I bumped the mic. The last thing Aiden remembers from that time is extreme pain, then a fire, and a little girl that was being tested with him. Her name was Mia. Yeah. She was his sister. What happened next after the fire? Is Mia still alive? The following years haunted Aiden with these questions. I'm gonna go with yes. That actually sounds time. somewhere to days gone. Moreover, a bit. Mia is the only answer to the question who Aiden really is. Now, in 2036, we meet Aiden when, for the first time during his pilgrimage, he finds a clue about how to find his sister. Aiden's path to the truth is tough, full of challenges and adventures. The difficult choices to make as well as the consequences await you. You're going to discover them all in December 2021. Wow. September 7th, 2021. You didn't show us any of the gameplay though, dude. Show us what we're gonna do. Okay, well. We're now and get these bonuses. Ooh, that oh, was cool. dying light too, and it looks great. Get rid of these guys and show us well, some gameplay. Here back on the gameplay. So gameplay. Closer to your comments and reactions to what Does you're seeing. Does these PCs stand for poor cons or something? Show? Because this that sucks so right, far. Con, so you out there keep your comments. I hate to admit it, Lloyd, but you're right. This and has been a pretty crappy conference. Year, we want to get your input on a subject but that the Chad uh, McThunder. PC mm. Square Enix so does that, the one buffed up the PCs based on Mech Warrior. Uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy game, yeah, he probably gets the chicks to too. One of that was a good game. It looked, it looked interesting. Yeah, the game looked good. Becomes our flagship PC for this year's PC gaming show. Oh gosh, nobody cares. Processor. That is correct. Each of the prototype PCs that you see before you on the screen are paired with one of the six factions of Mech Warrior 5. The Free Worlds League, the Draconis Combine, the Federated Sons, the Compellent Confederation, and more. So cast your vote now for which Why are you doing this? Why? Can we have some games? Okay, let's see. 
I'm currently personally pulling for. We had Splatoon knockoff. We had a couple of platforming Tarian games. We had Dying Light 2. I'm the biggest fan. We already knew about Dying Light 2. Give us something new. All right. Well, we'll check in later to see which group survived. Mech Warrior 5. Okay, we get it. You like Mech Warrior 5. Move on. Pilot Frankie Ward. Hey, boy, more cringe play. Poor now, but quick and easy sports player. And Amplitude Studios' upcoming strategy. Uh, not pants is high. Hey, not pan. Dying Light 2. They do what they did in Dying Light 1. There are millions of videos out. Okay, cool. Great. More of Dying Light. That's awesome. Mind, you will be creating a civilization this looks interesting. As you are. And speaking of or another civilization like game. It's that me, looks fun. Frankie Ward. Looking kind of good, don't you think? Wondering how I got into the game? Let me show you. Uh... Uh... All you like. I've you had one job to make me want to buy this game, and now I'm cringing. Make sure to vote in our arbitrary poll. Oh, yeah, do that. That engages numbers. Get closed bait access via Twitch drops. What do you freaking do? The game itself looks great. Get ready. Presentation's cringe. Tico says, Hello, been a while since I came to stream. Well, welcome, Tico. I'm glad to have you here, buddy. Now, Pants is mentioned TF2 got a real update because of this. Well, oh, I would love that. Now, Valve's gonna be at this show, right? Is the Valve gonna be here and show us something? Oh, Sega! Oh, hey, here's your chance. Here's your chance, Chicken Ward. There's something Sega related. Titanfall 2 update. Is this Civ? No, it's humankind. It's like a Civ knockoff. Looks fun, though. Okay, so here's some animation 90s action. Saturday morning cartoon game. Oh. Oh, okay. This is like a little 2D platform. This actually looks kind of good. This actually this actually looks like an okay game. This is Sega. I wonder what this is. Or if this is like an older Sega IP or if it's something new. I can get into this. Looks like browser games I played as a kid, just a little nicer. Okay. You have to pick up a currency icon that looks dangerously similar to them taking the Sega lo logo colors, putting it on the euro, and adding an extra line in the middle. If I'm being honest, that's what it looks like. Game looks fun, though. I can play this. Looks fun. I feel like I should know what this is. I know, right? Okay, she need to program a parallel series where we can all play Hollow Knight via Hamachi. In your stream, also, I want to see you playing Alder's Blood being high like the sky. <laughs> that sounds good. They always run. Okay, the game looks good. Um, so yeah. That looks fun. Or maybe Sega is back breaking some rules again. Nice. No, but cool. And that's definitely something new. Show of Age of Empires 4. I waited 14 years. Oh, Denver, they showed that at the Xbox conference earlier today, buddy. They unveiled Age of Empires 4 then. I just want next year's Xbox conference to <laughs> Oh, Lily. Looks like some random Sega games are playing the Genesis back. Sega's been eating home runs lately. Have they, Nico? That's good. Yeah, other than Sonic. Well, I'm sure they'll... Okay. Orcs Must Die 3? Oh, that's cool. That's actually really neat. Joining me to talk about Orcs Must Die 3 from Robot Entertainment is designed okay, director you just Jerome ruined it. K. Jones. Welcome, Jerome. Thanks, Sonic Mania wasn't too far away, I guess. So, okay, for anyone who's never seen an Orcs Must Die game, what is the was Orcs that Must Game Die Who? all about? 
Well, Orcs must Ooh, die. I didn't see him. Shrek the game. Person tower defense game. So basically, there are There's tons like a small of clip of Gabe. And I didn't see him. Where was he? Rifts and the player has to stop them. Shrek is a human. I wonder where I missed. Weapons and traps and tools to do Like this. I said, and Valve is supposed to be here, so I'm sure we're gonna see some from them later. Here, I'll even look it up for you guys to show you. Valve PC gaming in the series. What's new? Show 2021. There are two new campaigns, but the okay. main new story campaign takes place. Right, about PC gamers revealed some of the lineup and details from the PC so gaming show 2021, the including the fact that Valve will be making an appearance there for the first time. Some new heroes okay. In our all PC new gaming listing them as a message from Valve regarding Steam. It might have nothing to do with games, it might just be Steam update related, but I hope it's something a little better than that. The so you're Isn't there another show after this? This is the last one I'm watching, Chicken Board. have a new mode called Scramble. It's basically they always run in. They always the run is in early access. You play as someone like Robocop. I know about the toys. What thank God. In Sega. Thank God. Some pixel art. Cool. Okay. Well, it looks fun, robots. like I said. So, a war so, machine so cool. Is okay. Like, there Neat. There and it's in early access, traps, she said. Like, you might release Very cool. a giant tornado on the battlefield or oh, this is kind of neat. A catapult and you'll fire at Oh, you awesome. know, giant orc armies. Uh, this must and be then, like some sort of tower defense type game, I'll bet you. Are, uh, it's like putting Which other looks war fun. on the battlefield with you to fight with you, except they have their own. Yeah, this is like tower defense. Well, I gotta ask then, when and where can we play Orcs Must I 3? So, OMD 3 is coming out uh, on July 23rd on Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox, and pre orders start today. So, you should rush off to Steam now and put. OMD3 on your wish list. Well, thank you so much for Sweet. joining us, Jerome K. Jones, once again. Yeah, we're going to show up to tell you there's a Steam update you have to restart to update. For now, though, it's time for us to take that a That would not surprise me in the slightest, so wait, to be completely Swanson. honest. Vampire the Masquerade. Now, didn't I see something about this already? I want to see if this is the one I'm remembering. Bye. Nah, this don't feel familiar. Eight, nine, ten. What is this? Where are you hiding, sweetie? Halsey. Halsey, get out here. Huh? Oh no. Oh, it's one of those kinds of games. You come for me and mine. But first, you need to find us. All I want is to be with my little girl. Is that so much to ask? Vampire the Masquerade. Well, dang. This looks like a Detroit Become Human style game. That's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking. Okay. Well, dang, it looks good. Hello, this is CERN from Passion Republic Games. We What's are a this? A based indie game studio working on Gigabash, a multiplayer arena Gigabash. inspired by kaijus and heroes. Today, we'd like to showcase some new and exciting gameplay footage of our oversized characters. Please do. I'd love to see some Please gameplay footage. Um. Okay. Now this kind of looks fun. Looks reminds me of a little bit like. Uh, it feels like Smash Brothers and League of Legends having a fight in a tropical island. Tropico. Like Tropico, the strategy. Anyway. Um, Gabe was going to reveal a Steam account and password. Eh. Can you have a pen and paper near you? Note down, take a look at all just put up the stream. Okay. All right, Supernova. You can leave a suggestion in my Discord, too, if you want to. Um, I'm just going to reveal the 10th class of TF2. It's a cute room. I want it. Game's gonna get married on stream. Oh gosh. Maybe it wasn't gonna give us a heavy update. Probably not. Dr. McGlasses is here. 
Pimp Quest in the game is just the scalp, but all the audio files are corrupt. You might get that game, Vampire Masquerade. Yeah, it looks good. I would totally get it. Wow. Sweet. That'd be a fun little thing to play. Let's Great classic monster brawl. This game. Yep. And make sure you hang around afterwards for the developer interview with Sean. Oh boy, the developer interview with Sean. We stand on the verge of extinction. Who wouldn't want to miss that? Last living generation. A major scientific okay, what the hell is this? There is hope for our future. The project known as the Lemnis Gate. But if we are to survive, first we must go back. Activate the Wimnus Gate. Three, two, one. Humanity's last fight for survival. Wow. Deploy your operatives. This kind, hmm. This feels like maybe an Overwatch clone, sort of. Protect and serve. No! This actually feels more like Apex Legends, especially with the little robot. Yeah, that's it. This is Apex Legends. You have only one mission. I mean, it's not, but it looks like it. Wimnus Gate. Okay. That looks, that looks kind of fun. August 3rd, pre-order now. Cool. All right, public nuisance. Welcome. He says, "Hey, Cass, I halfway through left halfway through the Xbox. Joining just came us back. To talk about Good stuff you missed. Um, not not Canada. a whole lot. No, there's a lot of stuff that came out of the Xbox oh, One. Now, Square Enix revealed Life is Strange is Three, a remaster of Life is Strange yet. One, which yeah, I thought was kind of silly. Uh, a new Marvel's game, so and then a new update for Marvel's Avengers. Um, then there's we've seen a few a few interesting looking game trailers, but otherwise." It's not really. And then we turn by turn layer new characters into so, the same 25 second time. Just doing a lot of so developer example, commentaries. I run down a hallway and throw a to play Muck Battle Royale the mode after then on this. The next turn, you may intercept Couldn't afford any Godzilla licenses, probably game. true. So we, have we need Kess the video game. game. Oh gosh. Destroy, uh, classic death I don't think I don't think anybody would even know what genre a video game was supposed to be. Can you Walk me through a little bit of like. Oh, unless what if what if that, that, that was the idea that the game was designed to not be any particular genre? That was the whole gimmick. It's basically like just a mishmash of every available genre group. out there. When every single play it? little so stage of gameplay is just a different, it's open for it's different genre. Right like one, you're a first person shooter. Another, it's like a story based choices thing. Then it was like third person action adventure, and then it was puzzle, and then it was cooking, and then it was educational. Right. Bending, just do it all and just do it kind of like a tongue-in-cheek sort of way. That'd be a good video game. Now, we're not the only like one of those game jolt here. type things, Coming you know? Next, let's or take a look type of games. Space Rebels. I see Cat's making a tea game if he gets really people on YouTube. Oh, man. Cat's simulator, that's what we need. <sighs> oh, you're living it. Remember to say Kess's ex dislikes every single stream he does. There's always one dislike. Really? I don't think so. I highly doubt it. That That's a little... I feel like they've been going on for much longer than that. Okay, wait a minute. Is there a model rocket building game? Is that a new thing now? Wait, is this a new game? Oh, this actually looks fun. Just launch rockets and then you put videos of it on the internet? Is that a, is this a game? Star 2, launching fall of 2021. That actually looked kind of fun. I would play that. And hey, if you play enough of that game, maybe you'll get good enough at building rockets. Or maybe it's called Space Rebels. Okay, whatever. But Next space rebels, like whatever, that. whatever that's called. It looked cool. Last break, we set up our Intel and Mech Warrior Five custom PC contest and asked you guys at home to vote for the winners. Oh, so we don't care, girl. Okay. Now with I do like Lasso the uh, being eliminated. So 
for up to those factions. Press F to pay respect. I like cetera, those. Cetera. Now that we means that we I like that last game. The rock one looks fun. Steiner and Mary. Anyway. So make sure to vote now because the winner will determine. Uh, the I wish there's a Power Rangers game. It is really good in PlayStation. That's oddly specific, say him. So let's keep the show moving. And next up, it's a okay. brand new medieval RPG. This anyway. is War Tales. War Tales. Okay, I want to see this. Oh. A hundred years have passed since the rise of the Eteran Empire. Oh, I already love it. And its untimely demise following the Great Plague. Oh, this looks, this looks great already. In these troubled times of quarreling factions and outlaws roaming the land. Caught it! This is going to be amazing. For a band of mercenaries. The stories of this age have been recorded. I know this is nothing They're but known as cinematics, but I'm just saying. War Tales. War Tales? What's the actual gameplay like? No, that still looks cool. Looks like a turn based combat strategy game. I would totally play this. This looks cool. Oh, yeah. A civilization thing going on. Okay. Trade and talk to people. Yeah, it is combat. Turn based combat. Cool. I think PC might stand for pathetic confidence. <laughs> this looks cool, Lily. I don't know what you're talking about. This, this looks fun. I would totally I would totally play this. War Tales 2021. That was the debut of War Tales, an open world RPG. Please don't go to a developer talking about, about it. A mercenary troop on a sprawling adventure. And speaking of mercenaries, our battle <laughs> for the best custom PC based on Mech Warrior 5 mercenaries okay. continues. Um, we'll be back live on stage soon, so he make says, sure well, you at least you have good friends to watch it with. You like at least it is. I have friends. Head over to pcgamer.com slash <laughs> oh, man. W5 for your chance to win. Hey guys, I'm going to so, go turn the AC on because it is hot this in is here. This is E3 after all. And this year's PC gaming show is so Full of games set in space it's starting to feel a little crowded up there but the next game it's actually 81 degrees in here it is the and uh celsius that's uh a deep settlement uh, set in the way hotter and than it should should normally be at 27 that's 27 degrees celsius so yeah and internal threats and rescuing the survivors of other what i miss uh you missed we the war tales brilliant entry into um the reveal released, chicken ward which so actually looked like a lot of fun your first look Exion. Okay. Oh, this is something new too. Ugh. I'm sleepy now. Oh, this looks kind of cool. The Earth, our home. She is unique. How okay. Are the ingredients of evolution beyond raw survival beyond the safety of comfort we humanity pursue something greater we have learnt persevered shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science however humanity has brought destruction to the earth polluted its blood choked its breath today we are paying the price for this we know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation. Wow. This actually looks pretty sweet. Those who like it's cold in here, is it saying? Is the weather getting you down, Cass? No, it just got warm. And a prologue to sure you do. Steps. Me, Cass, and Our Village here. Of uh -huh. the says, yeah, the Muck has better rail mode. Cool. That the survival of humanity Ain't too bad here in Iowa, but it's warm. Out there it's really not that bad either here. It's just, you know, get stuffy in an apartment when you're, you know, when it's really that warm. Bound together, pushing Okay, this is cool looking, but I have no idea what it's about. That's the problem. Space exploration game? 
because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the Vol Engine. Vol Engine. So is this a game development engine? Or is this a game? I don't know. Exion. Oh yeah, they said it was a game, didn't they? Exion. Huh. I have no idea what the hell that's about, but it looks cool. Right? Right? I can't be the only one who thinks so. And the creators of the award winning far loan sales. Never heard of that. But okay, let's assume for a moment that you're the same guys and it was reward winning. What is this? Because this actually looks kind of neat. Okay, for a little house, town, area. It's 20 Celsius here, which might not sound like a lot, but that's warm for here. We're not used to it. Sex things are bonus just trying to keep here and we don't have AC in houses. Oh, I'm sorry, Willie. Sounds stuffy. Power Rangers Legends. Windows of the Puff. Oh, you're giving him a good Power Rangers game, you said? Sounds cold. Yeah, 20 degrees Celsius doesn't sound too pleasant to me either. I'm usually good at about 23 degrees Celsius, and then after, and then if it's any lower than that, I'm probably gonna get a little cold. Far Changing Tides. Okay. This is like a sequel to Far. It's the first Far game, then, I guess. Even though I don't really know what it is. I don't even know what the game exactly was. What? Oh, well. Have you ever heard of a human sidekick? There are plenty of human sidekicks, Sean. Building list of known. Heck, your mom! Not funny. Uh, Alex Vance and. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. I mean human sidekicks to robot heroes. Can you compute that, Devbot? Devbot cannot compute. There is no known precedent set for human sidekick to robot lead. Yeah, there Somebody you go. Somebody in my uh, suffering. Devbot, I think it's time for a hard reboot. Oh dear. It's time my apartment's hard and I forgot to buy a fan. Yeah, I need, that's what I need. I need a little fan to put next to the bed. Keep it cool. 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 Celsius indoors is cold. I would agree. And then we're like 2 degrees Celsius. They're dang, Lily. Okay, I don't know what this is. Oh, this looks like one. Of, this looks like a little civilization slash farm management game with maybe some. Oh, and apparently you can figure out what people are gonna be like based on who you match them with. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Huh. So it's like you're managing a whole society at like a very very micro level as far as stats are concerned. That could be fun. Really goofy, but kind of fun. Huh, Lakeburg Legacies. I would play that. That's actually kind of cool. Chad be triggering me so hard right now. <laughs> I can't like it though. She's here with some heat. Now temperature tolerance. Well, something to remember is not everybody's blood temperature is the same. It's either somewhat lower or somewhat higher, which is going to make your uh, tolerance for certain temperatures vary from person to person. I don't know what this is. This looks like some Halo space zombie horde. Oh, it's a Killing 4 2 update. Okay. Or DLC or something. Well, that's cool. Actually did kind of look like Killing 4. Uh, let's see. All right, anyway, cats on Walmart, they're $15 and they do a fine job. Look not more than 35 watts consumption. Sweet, okay, awesome. 
Okay, yeah, we get it. G-Force now is the thing. It's cool. Word from Valve. A word from Valve. That doesn't sound like much of anything. Let's see what the chat's saying about a word from Valve over here. Please, please, just a TF2 update. Valve. Let's talk about Valve. Game now. Valve. Half-Life Portal. Valve. Valve. Half-Life Portal. Valve. Okay. Nobody cares about Mech Warrior 5, dude. It's been out for like a year or two. We're still talking about it. Oh, I, I knocked the lid off of my water bottle, which is empty. Empty water yeah, bottle, that's my empty heart. Very rich legacy of games that go way back. But in particular, oh, man. Warrior 5 Come on, guys, oh, he's in the UK. 20 degrees Celsius in summer for them. I'm in Greece and I'm boiling. Modern design and technology than hey, I'm Coleman, it's 68 indoors. 68 outdoors is perfect. Well, let's Could not like disagree more, basics, Chicken Ward. What makes 74 degrees outside is perfect. You Actually, you know what? I take that back. 74 degrees machine. indoors is perfect. 75 model, degrees it's outside is perfect. Pointing and shooting at everything. You're also managing okay. your systems, whether you're, you know, shooting a lot of energy weapons or missile weapons that have high heat output. Well, you got to manage your heat so you don't shut down in the middle of a battle. And when you're facing your okay, foes, that's actually kind of cool. Looking. Salvage these battle mechs. So if I think I tried playing this want, game one well, time, but it was like really hard to walk. It completely. You might want to. So, take out its legs oh, right. or I don't take know. out its arm weapons so that the pilot has to eject and then you can just take the mech. Now in the last few weeks I understand that there's been a whole lot Sounds of new good. content, both updates to the base game and a new DLC Heroes of the Inner Sphere. Talk to me about what's in the DLC. Boy, there's a lot in the DLC. I'm excited about Oh, so it's a new stuff. DLC. A new That's what they're promoting. Mode. When you start with the DLC, you can import your campaign previously if you'd like to. Okay. You can start over from scratch. George says, of course, you're going to be used houses. to what your region's climate um, is. That's true. I kind of lived in Tennessee all my life, so I'm speaking of generally very comfortable with the Tennessee climate, so that makes sense. And it's a really exciting new feature for me. And there's a new procedural mission type called Beachhead. This is this is a big one for me. Um, beachhead is basically you're clearing a, an enemy base landing zone. Are we on the moon? For your I guess we are. Force. So as you land on the planet, it's the only thing that'd be called a beach that look like that. <laughs> installations so that the enemy can't communicate with each other. We said um, planets, maybe out, not. Uh, artillery emplacements you're basically clearing the path as i said for your invasion force which uh, leads to a that really looks cool fun you could get used to controls succeed as your invasion force comes down and there's a new biome called extra solar moon which uh you know that's maybe a kind of represented in the image behind me it's a, is it's this a, really a tf2 cool update no denver this is dlc for mech warrior 5. there's a lot of new equipment and weapons 1 14 a.m here it's hot i already measures, killed five mosquitoes my cat like is under a uh, blanket sleeping she's crazy mask which is will get super cool in the winter we get really hot the summer for mechs. new weapons like chem lasers mech rifles and well guys i think this show's almost over i think there's only like two three more things for another 15 minutes and we'll be done um honestly the show was probably the biggest letdown for me personally because i expected so much it was just a lot of cringe there was a couple of games they showed off that i could get excited for but it was just kind of mad. The whole thing was just kind of like Devolver Digital yesterday. It was just not very good. It was cringy, and it only didn't have a whole lot to bring to the table. It's a 40 ton mech. Xbox has definitely been my favorite conference so far this year, that's for sure. They did such a good job because of its mobility, so it can get with uh, showing just you can, tons and tons of cool games. Specific target, one right after the other. Assassination mission, for example, you can get in there, find your target, get back out. Another mech. Okay, I'm there's super that. Excited about this is one of my favorites. Robot Agent says 420. Kiss. Hey, this Robot Agent. What's up with mech. What's up with you and 420 lately? Yeah, <laughs> the second time you said that. Here in February, we can have snow in the mountain and people. On the beach. That's it's something funny. we talked about Supernova. before. Modding. I know that Mech Warrior might get Vampire game, but the rest were awful. There was like one or two that looked interesting to me personally. Simple modifications. Um, but yeah, the Vampire uh, game was probably changes, the most interesting one out of the bunch. Colors, adding mechs, so, and equipment. it's just I don't know. The rest of them were just kind of meh. It's like nothing a, a super exciting. Mod, uh, in that is okay. Just oh, yeah. In February, we can have that already. Junkie game. Jen says, uh, yo. So hey, really Junkie Jen, welcome. You can imagine Watching the end of the PC the gaming show, my friend. Welcome Where to the stream. Is there another show? Yeah, there's like future games yeah, or something, Chicken Word, but I'm not watching it. Might get... Oh, I read that already. 
Merrick is here with me and he says hi. Oh, awesome! That's great! Thank hi, you Merrick! So much, Darren, Welcome, buddy. He says the dope reference. What's a dope Wars, reference? What I miss? Oh, 420 is a dope show. reference? That's and right. You, you know, pack. I think Robot Coming Agents actually next, made that joke to me before and explained it, and I've probably just forgotten since then. So I keep picking my eye. It's just... It itches. Junkie Jen put down some weird sort of emoji with a, a cat? Question mark? I don't know. Oh, wait. What the crap is this? Oh, no. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what the heck this is, but this is weird. Like, it's kind of interesting, but it's kind of just, what, you know? Silt. Okay. Are you celebrating Pride Month, Cass? No, Robot Age, I don't celebrate Pride Month. Oh, crap, I almost knocked over my bottle. Okay. Is this more Hello Neighbor 2? I think this is more Hello Neighbor 2. Normally, I would be, like, really excited for this, but I saw this, like, Yesterday at the uh, Girl Games Conference. WCR4 TV. Call Wom of something something. I don't know if I saw this exact trailer, but like I've already been seeing a lot of stuff about the game. Yeah, Hello Neighbor 2. Denver. Oh, this is like some actual gameplay though. No, what? Why? Buffering. Stink, dude. Yeah. This looks cool though. Is this with the actual, well, not all of it. Can't be, well, I guess some of it can be what the gameplay is like. Huh. Uh-oh. Oh no, this game is a little too spicy, guys. I think this one's gonna end up being a little too spicy! Ah! No, on April 2, 2021. Okay, cool. Okay, goodbye, landlord. Eh. Nice. Hi, I'm Rich Newbold, game director and dresser. Jurassic Evolution World 2. Evolution 2. Following the incredible 2. success of the first game, we are very excited to return to such an amazing world and bring you our most authentic experience yet. Set after the events of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, you will work alongside iconic characters from the films, voiced by original a new Jurassic talent, game, Bryce okay. Dallas Howard and Jeff Goldblum. You will lead efforts to contain, control, and conserve the many dinosaurs now out in the wild. And for the very first time, you will be building parks and facilities hmm. beyond. It's Getting caught world. watching how a neighbor shower gone wrong. Oh no! That's probably is of what it would end up like, though, Jurassic if I had to make my guess. For the stars of the show. Oh the dear! And we are thrilled to be bringing to life even more authentic species than ever before, including awe-inspiring flying and marine reptiles. So sit back and allow me to welcome you to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Okay, pre-rendered footage. So cinematic. We ignored all the warnings. Huh. Forgot the lessons. We abused I'd be down for a new dinosaurs game. We played with genetics like uh like it was the dinosaur toy. park game they came with a couple years ago looked pretty fun. We weren't careful. And now, ah, uh, here we are. Well, hello there. Looks like he got this taken a chomp out of by some other peeps. Yeah, world. welcome to Dominican Republic, because when I'm here, you are in Dominican Republic. <laughs> nice tropical dark. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Jurassic World Evolution 2. I don't know much about it, but it looks cool, I guess. Coming 2021? Okay. 
Hey, Kaz, do you actually get money from the ad playing in the beginning of your video? I've been going in and out you just to play some ads to help you. Too, and you know, that's nice of you, Supernova, your but that's not necessary, buddy. But yeah, I do I do make money from ads killed, on the channel. I think this is gonna, gonna make you buy Landboard on Roblox? Do that, Junkie, that'd be great. The new features and new dinosaurs, this sequel from Frontier is an even deeper, excuse me, an even deeper management sim with a brand new and original narrative. Make sure to wishlist it on Steam now for release later this year. Now, with all the games we've covered so far today, we're always curious to see what you are talking about. So far, it seems like the chatter on social media is all about War Tales, not a cut blade point, and unsurprisingly, War Tales was pretty cool looking. I have a feeling, though, that that may change as we have plenty yeah, more me too. to come. Let's now head on over to see what the folks Vampire and War Tales, those were the interesting ones. Cooking. Take it away. Jurassic Park films aren't bad, even the bad ones are at the very least mediocre. Cool. New blood. What? What is this? New blood. Fallen aces. Is this another game? Medieval, the Black Labyrinth. Are these just quick showcasings of other games that are being worked on? That this, that kind of looks like Doom. Unfortunate space boot. This also looks like Doom. Dusk. Oh gosh. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Kyle is completely famous. Oh no. Faith, the unholy trinity. Most of these look pretty silly. Gloomwood, that's interesting. A lot of these just look like really bad indie asset flips. Dusk. Is that looks like a Doom mod. I had to say it. Is this a Doom mod? Yep. Is this the Doom mod? Yeah, everyone knows dinosaurs got extinct. Shake my head. Realism, zero out of ten. Oh, it just wouldn't be the PC gaming show without a fantastic uh. new New Blood supercut. And joining us from New Zealand is New Blood okay. CEO Dave Oshry. Hey, Dave. Anyway, New Blood is a company that make old school style you know, shooters like Doom. Oh, okay. So there are 2021. Some stuff you might know. There are new companies, so they're making about. all of those. Some stuff we're not ready to talk about just yet. I think all of those are basically Doom mods. Gloomwood, as you know, yeah. is next flagship I mean, they call themselves Great New Blood, but like, come on. Come on. Talus, Call of Cthulhu, and of course, uh, Dave, the Thief series Dave, of games. Dave, and not Dave I'm sorry. Um, that's not really wonder. great, Dave. Uh, gosh, this is kind of embarrassing. Um, we kind of need to hurry it up a little bit. I just want to make sure that we have enough time for our next video. We uh, got an incoming message from Gabe Newell. So, uh, I guess goodbye for this year. I'm really sorry to cut you off, but uh, see you next year. Oh. I'm sorry, what? You're bumping me. You're, bump You're bumping Oh, this is rehearsed. Gabe, that Gandalf look, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't even go here. Is everything okay, Dave? Not now, Mom, I'm upset. We spent a year on this. Where is Gabe? Where is Gabe? Where is his boat? Yeah, take me to him. Take me to Gabe Newell. Where's <laughs> Gabe? Uh... PC Gamer. This isn't over. Really? I'm sure Dave is and will really? be fine. And if he's not, no Doki Doki cares? Plus is too big brain for me. Supernova. From Gabe Newell, take it away, Gabe. Hi, this is Gabe Newell. I want to thank PC Gamer for all of the opportunities this better be to good. us as developers to connect with gamers around the world and highlight the new and exciting projects we have coming. One of those for us is Steam Next Fest, an event we're hosting in just a few days to give players a chance to try demos of upcoming games for free. We'll be featuring some okay. of the demos you'll be seeing during this week's PC Gamer event and dozens more. Here's a look at just some of the titles to be featured during Steam Next Fest. Welcome to Steam Next Fest, where we're showing a massive collection of upcoming titles on Steam. During the week of the festival, okay. developers That's from cool. around the world release their demos for you to play. Time to put on the gamer pants. <laughs> oh gosh, that was cringe. Oh my god. So go explore the newest titles. From first time devs to seasoned pros, this is Steam Next Fest. Okay, so they're just announcing their whole little oh, demo oh, thing. Some of those look pretty good. Is that it? Really? Really, dude? Hold up, here's something else.
What is this? This actually looks kind of fun. They just, they just went right from his thing off into this. I had a feeling his thing was just gonna be some random bull crap nobody cared about like that. I watched streams before, I remember the name Erderu. Oh yeah, you're Erderu, cool. How's your sister Natalie doing? Hope she's doing okay. This coordinated, or that guy just effed him up. No, it was coordinated, it was stupid. Solstice, that looks cool, I guess. The stage, if that was stage, it was horrible. It was, it was kind of funny to be honest. I didn't think so. And Santa, hit. Dinosaurs typically kind of still exist. Just a bird and chicken. Some of the people haven't liked yet gone slap that like button now. <laughs> he looks like he become a male Santa, if, a mall Santa if he wanted to. That was a letdown. It was. That's a weird thing. So conference was. I didn't think they had any big things here though. They never do. Yeah, it was kind of lame. But I want to get heavy update. If they were gonna announce it. They weren't gonna do it here, buddy. It is time to look at some hardware. Here on the PC gaming show, no. you know we keep frame rates. No, I think I think we've seen enough. All right, guys. Well, that was the PC gaming show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for tuning in. I am gonna end the stream off here now. Uh, this was definitely disappointing. This one was pretty bad. It was probably one of the worst ones I've seen so far. Um, Wholesome Direct was pretty bad. It was. They, that one at least shows you games though. They just weren't really my thing. But that one was actually better than this. Devolver Digital was bad. It was cringy like this, but honestly, this is probably the worst one, which is a shame because this is the one I was most hyped and excited for because it was the PC gaming show. I expected, like, top-tier stuff. No. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching, uh, for being a part of this year's E3 with me. I enjoyed streaming it. This is the last show I'm going to watch. I'm not going to watch any more of them. We'll be back to our normal sort of scheduling stuff tomorrow. We're going to be starting the tomorrow off with a morning stream of Saint, or, excuse me, of Portal the Flash version, which came with the Portal Still Alive mod we've been working our way through. We're also going to be doing Saints for the Third Remastered tomorrow afternoon. There'll be a stream of that. We've got a lot of uh, Hitman and Vehicle Theft missions to work on, so we'll be busy, to say the least. So I encourage you guys to come to that. Thank you very much for um, following my channel, being a part of everything. I'm excited for what the year holds for Cats Gaming. We definitely do have a lot of cool new games coming, and I'm excited just for all the series and stuff we have planned. So pretty good stuff. Anyway, uh, da, 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 da. she's doing fine. It's just my alt account. Toys are logging the account of this device. Fair enough. You used to have nice announcements. I agree. The new blood games are good, though. I believe most of them are on the list. Cool. Very cool. Looks like Gut's daughter from Berser, from Berserk. Don't know what that means. Hey, Cash, check out Alder's blood off stream. Yeah, I'll do that. I will do that, buddy. Tico says bye. All right, guys. Anyway, I want to give a big special thank you and shout out to our T-Squad Plus members who keep us funded and active on a monthly regular basis. Big thank you to Quinn Knave, Mick Patch 07, Mosh Wizards, Alien Force, Lily Omatic, K Plague Doc, Real Tide, No Legend Was Written, Bennett Clark, Vory T, Third Eye, Bob the Dinosaur, Shawnee, Regular Gray, Tropical Dark, and Steve Go Home. Thank you guys so much for your continued support of this channel each and every month. I appreciate you. You help make my dream possible. Anyway, guys, uh, till next, till tomorrow, we'll hopefully get back to actually playing some cool games instead of just watching uh, announcements of upcoming stuff. And I look forward to seeing you all there. So be sure and tune in for Portal. Till next time, I've been your host, Kess Gaming. And I will see you all 